Welcome back everyone to another Tarot Fantasy video and in this video as the thumbnail suggests I wanted to talk about a few problems that are currently plaguing Tarot Fantasy. Now we know that there's a lot of problems but in my opinion there's a few that are outliers and I believe that they kind of need to be resolved or a solution needs to be found for this by the development team because it is putting people off the game. Now this isn't a doom posting video, this is a constructive video. This is one that I've been thinking about for a while and the server transfers that have opened up recently have pretty much given way for me to make this video because it is one that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time, especially with the way the game is going and in the direction it's going in. One of the key things I wanted to talk about today and the number one point I do want to talk about in this video is new player experience. Now if you actually restart the game and check it out, the new player experience is actually pretty awful. Now they have actually done a lot of changes and corrected the mistakes that they have actually had when the game first came out, missing audio and the likes but there are still stuff there that still need fixing, like localization. It's still a problem. A friend of mine recently just started playing. There are localization issues and he is someone that works in the industry so, and has played, you know, does QA for a living. And because of that, he was able to work his way around. But for someone that isn't as savvy, they can be quite disjointed. But that isn't even the crutch of the problem. The crutch of the problem is when you're leveling up. The new, you know, when you level up, you're supposed to get stronger, you're supposed to get mightier. But Hota or, you know, Level Infinity, whoever's actually doing the global development, has this kind of mental thing in their mind or image where they believe that everyone should be in Vera. And I can understand why, because really the start of the game is very kind of, it's okay but i'd kind of almost refer it to a realm reborn from final fantasy 14 it's all right it's good but you know it gets so much better in vera it really opens up the areas on you know in vera is nowhere near as big but the in terms of the actual quality of life and the gameplay and everything else it just opens up it becomes so much higher quality so much better and the story is in my opinion even better told the voice acting is better overall just everything is better so i can see why they're pushing people to vera straight away but the fact that you can teleport straight to vera at the start in my opinion is just wrong secondly you know the 500 percent extra xp you get for level you know at the beginning because you've just started your account again is wrong you are leveling up way quicker than you are getting gear this means that the enemies around you actually level with you. So while they're leveling up and getting to a state where they should be, you're getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Now, if I'm a new player, this is instantly a turnoff for me. Now, as a new player, this is an instant turnoff. I don't want to get weaker. I'm supposed to get stronger, more powerful. I'm supposed to turn Super Saiyan and go and destroy all these stupid things. But instead, I'm getting weaker and weaker and hitting like a wet noodle. And this is a massive turnoff. Now, I know the community is turning around and saying, well, join a crew and actually, uh, you know, get people to carry you. That's not fun. That's not how an MMO should work. You're supposed to play with people and go on with people. Maybe a level six system or something. I don't know. But for new players, this 500% XP bonus is just bad. Now, if they are insistent on pushing people through into Vera and beyond in a much more accelerated rate so they can get out of the early levels, I'm okay with that too. But at least provide them for free with gear, at least say up to, I don't know, 40,000 combat score so they can at least get somewhere, at least start attacking without feeling like a wet noodle. I mean, it, it's it's a big problem and it's one they need to sort out. And I know their solution is going to be to monetize it and they have monetized it. And this is wrong. You know, that rookie pack that they're selling in the shop for 400 Dark Crystal, that should be a free pack for people as they're leveling up. And, you know, as we are vets, if we go in there and we pick it up, it's just a side effect. So what? But you want new players to stay and you're basically turning around and telling new players, hey, because of the way we've designed the early game, we know that you're going to hit like a wet noodle and walk up to enemies, slap them, and then they're going to look at you thinking, what the fudge are you doing? And then 
bitch slap you back down to level 1. But we have a solution. If you go to the cash shop and spend your dark crystal, you can get some rookie packs to actually give you gear that can actually allow you to level up. That is wrong. That is absolutely wrong. And that leads me on to my second point. I've noticed through the actual past few months, the monetization in this game has been getting more and more aggressive. And that's not a good thing. Now, I know items we need to use for the research stuff is actually in the cash shop. We have to wait for events to be able to claim more of some of this stuff. And if you don't want to wait, you have to go and spend your dark crystal in order to actually get this stuff. It's quite aggressive and it's getting to the point where it's turning people off. I think they need to tone back on that a little bit because it's 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 slowly becoming a problem. Again, you don't have to buy it. And before people say, if you don't like it, don't buy it. I'm just saying the stuff that should be available in the game is now, you know, being limited and offered to you in the cash shop. That's not right. I'm looking at blue protocol and i've got serious concerns with the monetization in that game especially with the tickets the xp bonuses you know i'll make another video on that because i have serious concerns regarding where that is going and how it's actually developing but in this video where we're talking about the new player experience i just want the new player experience to be good because if you're having a good time and you're enjoying your time then you are more likely to stay in the game and in, you know play with other players. Now, obviously, no one wants to be stuck in the early areas for too long. And if they want to make it accelerated a little bit, maybe make it so if they join a crew up to level 50, they will get 20% extra XP or 50% extra XP, not 500% extra XP. At least with that, when they join a crew they've got people that they can play with and do joint operations with and people that are actually higher level that can actually support them but when you start the game new fresh you're going in you know on your own you're leveling up and you're getting weaker as you level up this needs to be resolved and i feel that there are simple fixes to this but charging people to buy stuff in the shop is not one of them and hopefully this will change because the server transfers isn't going to be you know the big miracle savior that people think it's going to be people are going to come over but we've still got the same number of players this game wants to grow it wants to evolve and that will happen with players new players joining and if new players that are joining are having a bad experience they're just going to pack up and leave and then what you're left with is crews that ain't going to be able to even afford to pay for their actual weekly summits because these you know the prices that crews have to pay not in terms of money but you know in terms of the points that they need to pay every week is ridiculous that also in my opinion needs to be adjusted because it's crazy but all in all that is one of the key things i wanted to talk about in this video another thing i wanted to touch on is power creep but i'm going to leave that for another video because looking at tian lang i think you know that has scarily potentially set a really bad precedent in terms of how powerful he actually is and it's going to be really interesting to see how annabella is because all that's happened with annabella is her scope shot has been reduced by you know near enough over 50 by 60 percent i think it is so it's a fair amount but it's been reduced but everything else remained the same as cn at least based on the figures that we've seen that are there those were subject to change now if she's gonna also for the most part for 99 percent of her stats remain the same as cn well especially considering the speed we're going with, you know what i'll leave this for another video I don't want to get into it because we've already hit the 10 minute mark and that should be enough. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this because the new player experience to me is really, really important. And looking at other games that are not MMO based, but also in the genre that are coming like Dragon Sword, we've got Arknights Enfield, whenever that's going to turn up. We've got Withering Waves, which potentially is going to 2024. We've got Blue Protocol. All of these games will be vying for your attention and vying for new player attention. And at the moment, they are looking a lot more lucrative, especially to those people that have tried the game 
and said, you know what, this new player experience is trash, I'm going to move on. So hopefully Hota or Levels Infinity, you can look at this and fix it because it is something that does need fixing in this game and hopefully it will be for the betterment of the game going forward. Right everyone, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. If you've made it this far, I know I've left it really late in this video, but do consider leaving a like and subscribe. We are doing a hashtag save the beard. I'll have information on that in the description below. For those of you that are interested, I do like my beard, so please save it. But other than that, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.